Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at a really unique mousetrap that originally came in a green plastic box. If you open it up here, you can see the trap. This is called the El Gato. Now this trap was originally patented on October 15th, 1996. We've seen a trap very similar to this already. I posted a video on the Green Bottle USA Cheese Mousetrap. There it's a plastic hunk of cheese. Inside it has a chamber with a ball. The mouse goes inside, lifts up a ball, and then enters the two liter plastic bottle. Then the ball goes down. You can reset it and catch multiple mice. This is basically the same design. You can attach it to this plastic box or there are threads here to attach to a two liter bottle. Now inside you can see a marble. It's a ball that slides back and forth. The idea is it's attached to the bottle here. The mouse will want to get the bait, go inside, lift that up, enter the bottle, and then it goes down and you got them. That's a pretty heavy ball for a mouse to lift up. We're gonna see if it works. It's a unique design and I can't wait to test it out. Let's go get our pet mice and see if they'll get caught in the El Gato mousetrap. I hooked up our El Gato mousetrap to the bottle. Let's see if our mice go in there. We were able to get one mouse with the El Gato, but the other two seem hesitant. They don't want to go in there and push the ball. We're going to go ahead and put the mice back in their cage, then go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get some wild mice. Last night, I set up the El Gato mouse trap in the barn and we caught a mouse. It wanted to get the bait, went in there, lifted up the marble, squeezed into the bottle, and got caught. Now it's kind of foggy in there, not the best ventilation, and this mouse really wants to get out. Because the El Gato is a live catch trap, we'll go ahead and set it free. To do that, I'll just turn the trap upside down. The marble will fall out of the way, and then the mouse can crawl through. He already knows how to get out, he's just waiting. The mouse doesn't want to crawl out, so I'll just remove the trap. There he goes. The El Gato is a really unique mouse trap, and I had fun testing it out even though that first night we were sabotaged by a rat. I promise in the next video we will catch a rat using a primitive survival trap from Taiwan called the Donggon Deadfall. That trap is really effective at smashing rats. Unfortunately, I also smashed my finger. My thumbnail is almost grown out, but I have to start that whole process over again. If you're not one of my subscribers, please consider hitting the button right there. I'm posting between 4 and 5 rodent trap videos a week. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.